In this video, we are going to show you the object tree. So watch our mouse here. We go to the bottom right of the chart, find the object tree icon, and we click it. Now, if you have an advanced or busy or a chart with a lot of text and drawings and indicators, the object tree is where you can quickly see all of it. So the object tree is a place for you to manage and organize everything that's happening on your chart. So we'll show you an example. One thing that we're doing on this chart is leaving quite a few notes. So this note, for example, says post COVID retrace high. It shows the high point since the COVID crash. This note says 200 day moving average. It means this blue line is the 200 day moving average. Now, Every time we come to this chart, we want to quickly adjust these notes or perhaps make edits to them. So we can use the object tree to do that. And we can also make it really easy for ourselves. For example, watch this. Let's create a group of text notes. So we go up here to create a group of drawings and we click the icon. Now what we're going to do with this group is we're going to call this group a, uh, the text notes for our chart. So let's call it all text on the chart. And now we will select each text item and we'll move it into our group. What's cool about this is now we can just select the group and we can hide it or unhide it. We can lock it and unlock it, or if we press the X here, we'll delete it. Now to quickly locate these text boxes, we can actually also give them unique names. For example, this trend line to watch, let's call this trend line to watch text. And now we know every time we come to the object tree, we can click this and make adjustments. By the way, if you double click, you can edit the text from here. So change its color or change its font size or maybe make it bold. So the object tree is a really cool way to manage everything happening on your chart. You can create groups, you can create specific names, and if you want to, you can reorder, you know, the most important things that are happening on your chart. And that way, every time you come to your chart, you know exactly what you want to see first and what you perhaps want to edit first. So this arrow, we double click, we can make adjustments as needed. This trend line, double click, make adjustments as needed. Or perhaps we want to make a group and we want to call this group uh, the trend line group. So specifically, anytime we draw a trend line, we're going to add it into this group. In fact, we'll just do that right now. There's an interesting downward trend. It looks like right there. And what we can do now is call this trend line downward. And we can move it into our trend line group. So see what we've done here. We now have groups. We have specific names and we can just see everything that's happening on our chart straight from the object tree. So remember, you can get to the object tree by going to the bottom right of your chart, finding the icon and clicking it. From there, you'll see everything that's happening on your chart and you can quickly adjust, edit, change, or rearrange each thing that's on your chart. It makes it really easy and it's just the best way to manage and see everything that's going on in your chart, especially if you have a chart like this, where there is a lot going on with text and arrows and indicators and drawings. So we hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you already use the object tree and you're a master at it, how about you leave some tips and tricks for us in the comments so that others can learn. And if you really enjoyed this video, please, please press like, Thank you for watching.